Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you a t-shirt design that is currently a bestseller on Etsy and take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use it as inspiration and easily make your own version using Canva. Let's get into it. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons for more content like this. So here we are on Etsy, and this is the item we'll be using as our inspiration today. So we can see that it is a current bestseller. It's in 20 plus baskets right now, which lets us know it's in high demand. And what it is, is a personalized kindergarten teacher shirt. It has this very cute, playful font with different patterns inside of each letter and some of the letters looking like pencils, so very much on theme here. And then we have a script font at the bottom with the teacher's name, and that's the part that is customizable for your customer. Let's have a look at our Everbe stats here. And we can see this listing is fairly new. It's only been up for about nine months. It's already had 220 sales with a monthly revenue of around $576 and an average of 24 sales per month. So this is doing very, very well. And I'm going to take you over to Canva next to show you how to make your own version that is inspired by this. Specifically, I wanna show you how to make these really cute trending pattern letters. So let's head over to Canva now and start the next part of the process. Here we are in Canva and I've created a new document at 4200 by 4800 pixels. The first thing we want to do is come over to our elements menu here and type in pencil letter. So we want to find some letters shaped like pencils. So we'll go into our graphics section and as you can see there's quite a few options for really cute letters that are shaped like pencils. So we are doing a teacher themed shirt but we're not going to do the kindergarten one. We're going to change that up a bit and let's do one for a third grade teacher. So I like this T here so I'm going to click on that and bring it into our composition. Size that down a little bit and now I want to find a patterned letter for our next letter which will be an H. So let's say we want to find a floral pattern. So we'll say floral pattern H. And as you can see we have some cute options that are brought up for us here. Let's scroll through a bit and see what we like. Okay, so I think there's a couple up at the top here that could work nicely. I like this first one, or also I think maybe this pink one. And I have to say I am using the Pro Canva account, the paid version. So I think you could still do this design with the free version, but in my opinion, it's very much worth getting the Pro, especially if you are a print-on-demand seller, but I thought I would mention that, that a lot of these choices I'm seeing here, the really good ones, are part of the Pro plan, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to choose this one next, and bring that in, and size that to be roughly the same size as our T, and you can see it brings up those dotted lines to let you know it's the same height as our first letter. Great, so next we'll choose a pattern for our third letter, which is an I. So let's say a fruit pattern I. This really cute little pineapple. There is a watermelon, a kind of strawberry. We've got some leopard print, which isn't exactly fruit. We have this kind of picnic checkered pattern uh, here as well. Let's keep scrolling and see what else we've got here. So you can see it's bringing up some actual just patterns of fruit, but we definitely want the letter. Here's another cute eye. And that's not a fruit pattern, but I do kind of like that one. So why don't we choose that one? Bring that in for our eye. And again, we'll drag it over here and size it 
to be the same size as our first two. And we're going to move these letters around a little bit afterwards to get them spaced out in a way that looks really good. But for now, we'll keep going. And let's say our next letter is going to be an R. So let's say lined paper R. Let's see what that brings up. I was trying to find something with that kind of notebook, lined notebook look. Let's see, it's not really bringing anything up that looks like that. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to choose this R here. And again, size it to be roughly the same size. And then we'll do a, well, let's just write in patterned D and see what comes up here. So we have some really cute options. Let's see, maybe we'll just choose this pink checkered one. I think that's really cute. And again, we'll size that to be the same size. And now we're going to start our next word, which is grade. And what we can do here then is if we want to repeat some of these same patterns, say for instance I want our G to be this lined paper look, we can click on that, go up to the ellipses here, go to info, and then view more by the artist that made this one. We'll click on that, click on graphics, and then, oh, I was going to type in right here to search for the G, but I can see it's showed up already. So we'll click on that and we'll size that. We'll make sure it's the same size as our first row here. So we'll do that. And again, we can do the same thing where maybe now we want, well, let's, let's do a whole new pattern for our second R here. So let's type in patterned R, see what comes up. could do this checkered one is kind of fun. I think this one's cute, this polka dot blue and white one. So we'll grab that. We'll get that sized nicely to match our G here. Great. And then maybe for the A, we can do another pink checkered one. So we'll come down to info. We'll click on view more by this artist, go into the graphics section and then type in A and see what that brings up for us. And somewhere in here, there it is, is a pink checkered pattern A. And then I think another pencil one would be cute next. So we'll click on the ellipses, go down to info, view more by this artist and type in D. And there we go. We've got a D right there shaped like a pencil. Super cute. And then for our last letter, let's repeat this fun red and white dotted one. So again, we're going to go into the graphics and we'll type in the letter E here in the search bar and not exactly a match, but pretty cute. We could even change the colors if we want. Not all of them will have that option to change the colors. So why don't we do that? I'm just going to size that real quick and then to change it to match that eye. We're going to click on the color we want to change, which is that green, and then we'll choose that red color and from our document colors. And then boom, there we go. We have an E to match the I. So just like that, you have your own super playful patterned lettering here. And you'll want to play around with the spacing. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I think these two letters need to be closer together. What helps when you're 
changing the spacing between items in Canva is to really zoom in. It gives you a lot more control over how close or far you can get elements. Sometimes it snaps in weird places. To fix that, just zoom in as much as you can and it will give you a lot more incremental control over your spacing. So I'm gonna move this a bit closer as well. And essentially I'm just moving them all a bit closer together. And I want to align that G to be in the same rough starting spot as the T. So I did that. I'm gonna move this R quite a bit closer and the A as well. Essentially, we don't want them super far apart from each other is the idea. Now what I'm gonna do is zoom back out and I'm going to select all of the letters in the grade word and hit group. I'm just gonna drag those down a bit and then I'm gonna do the same for the third. I'm gonna hit group and then I'm gonna center it in our composition. I'm going to enlarge that so it takes up more space on our page here. And then I'm gonna do the same with the grade word. I'm gonna size that up quite a bit and center it. Get it a nice distance from our first row here. And I think that looks pretty cute. And so the next thing we can do is add a customization option. You could consider this design finished in and of itself if you don't want to create a custom design, which I would recommend. Customization is not for everyone. It means that at any time someone orders something, you have to go through the extra step of adding that custom name or whatever it is to provide to your customer. So you could just go ahead and export this as a design on its own and make t-shirts that just say third grade. But if you want to make a custom design like our example, what you would do next is come up to text here and add a heading and then size that up so we can see it. And then let's say our teacher's name is Mrs. Wilson. And I think a nice script font, sort of like our example, would be good. So we'll come up here to our font options. And let's see, something in the calligraphy section might be cute. What we want is something that is not too thin because we want it to show up nicely um, when we print our shirts from it. So we want something with a little bit of heft to it. I think this brusher font is really nice. And then we can kind of place that below. Let's see if there's another font we could try out. That's a bit too fancy. I think that one's kind of nice, style script. That one's a bit too fancy as well. That one's kind of cute, that has a really accessible teacher kind of look to it. This is called Joshico, this font. And then so we would kind of size that down to be, you know, a good bit smaller than our playful letters up at the top. But just like that, we have something we can customize. And anytime a customer orders something and they have a different name, all you would do is come back to this document and click on this and then change it to whatever name your customer wants on it. And then you would export the file to your print on demand provider. And each time an order came through, you would have a new document to upload to get printed on your t-shirt or your mug or whatever it is that you're printing. Something you'll want to consider at this point as well is whether you're going to be printing your design on light colored t-shirts or dark colored t-shirts. We can see this design works nicely against a white background, but if you wanted to print on a darker colored t-shirt, we would need to change the font here at the bottom to a white color. So we're going to duplicate this page 
And on the second page, we're going to click on the background and change that to a black color. And as you can see, our font at the bottom here, there has disappeared. So we're going to change that to white. And there we go. We have a design that will work well on dark colored t-shirts and also on light colored t-shirts. So what we'll want to do next is export our design so then we can head over to our print production partner website. I use Printify and upload our designs. So we'll come up here to share. We'll choose download and we're going to want them to be PNGs with transparent background selected. We're going to download both pages. So we have the options for light colored t-shirts and dark colored t-shirts and then we'll hit download. So that's basically it for this custom design. This template will be sitting here for you when you get a custom order and all you have to do is come in and change the teacher's name here and choosing, depending on whether they've ordered a dark colored t-shirt or a light colored t-shirt, change it accordingly and then download your new design and upload that to your print production partner. I'm going to be doing a separate video on that part of the process because it is quite complex and a bit too long for this video. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in. It's on the books for me uh, coming up soon. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and good luck with your designs. I will see you in the next one.